happened? Am I audible and visible? Let me know. Am I audible and visible? Then we'll start the class. Let me check. We'll start. Hello everyone, welcome to An Academy Future Doctors. I'm myself Dr. Deepthi Karya. I'm MD, PhD Physiology. I'm Associate Professor and Educating MBBS, MD, Physiotherapy and Nursing students. I have more than 17 years of teaching experience. Now, let me explain in brief about our subscription. We have two kinds of subscription. One that is plus subscription and second that is iconic subscription. In our plus subscription, you can uh, choose the best from the best here you can access both live as well as recorded classes you can study on the device of your choice you can learn from india's top educators for your medical exams you can access question bank which is having more than twenty five thousand questions you can compete in the live test as well as quizzes and within 12 months we are coming with our printed notes okay so this is about plus subscription next is iconic subscription in iconic subscription your access to the best from two of the best and which are these two of the best one that is on academy and prep ladder with on academy and the features are you can have well structured live batches you can have recorded classes which covers full syllabus you can have question bank which is having more than 25,000 questions, competitive live test and quizzes, comprehensive printed and digital notes. Whereas second one that is on academy and prep ladder with prep ladder here. You can have, sorry, you can have clinical and integrated essentials. You can have video lectures from the dream team. You can have question bank three with active guidance, system tags and more and rapid revision and snapshots and treasures and 2021 dream notes. So both of this subscription, both are unique and both have important features. You can subscribe any of them. Now, certain other features we have added in our class, uh, in our special class and they are, we made a special class interactive. So they are interactive in live classes. You can attend live class. You can participate in the live chat and get your doubt clear. Also, you can poll for the learners. You can have a facility of raise a hand. Issue, hello, welcome. Then, next is, you can never miss a class. You can always get the notification for your class. You can get lecture notes. You can download lecture notes and get the access to the recorded sessions. And you can attend the live class anywhere and at any time. Next is, we are also with our updated and highly effective question bank. This question bank is having more than 25,000 high yield clinical questions. These questions are based on latest exam pattern and it includes detailed explanation. These are our NEET PG 2021 toppers. Congratulations from an academy family. Here, this is the schedule for our on academy medical PG test that is free test rituals which include educator curated test series FMG grant test series study with me YouTube test series Saturday special class marathon based test series grant test series as well as plus batch test rituals that includes need PG 2022 subject wise test series need PG 2022 grant test series which is having MCQs, PYQ, previous year questions, IBQs and numericals. Next 2023 system wise test series. So uh, next more is focus FMG 2022 comprehensive batch that also has been started from 15th December 2021 and that is for six months. Second is target need PG 2022 test and discussion batch also started from 15 December that is for three months so you can subscribe any 
of the subscription from your mobile either plus or iconic and you can use my code dipti10 to get 10 percent extra discount now let us come to our today's topic that is eeg electro and cephalograph okay this is one of the topic which is clinically also important when you go to your clinics you will be having this recording of eeg electro and cephalogram so you should at least know what is it issue i'm fine how are you going hmm? studying well hmm? do well okay so this is different from ECG. This is not ECG. This is EEG, electroencephalogram. Okay. Now, so, encephalo or encephalogram, that is study of electrical activity of brain. In ECG, there is electrical activity of heart we are measuring. Here, we are measuring the activity of brain in EEG. Okay. Now, Anuj Agrawal. Hi, hello, nice to see you. Anju Agrawal, okay. Hmm? Hello. Now, next is, let us discuss about how this EEG waves are there, okay. Mechanism of EEG, we will discuss. What is the mechanism of EEG? This EEG signals, which we are getting, these signals are generated by EPSPs and IPSPs. Now, what is this EPSPs and IPSPs? Let me explain. I think we have discussed this EPSPs and IPSPs regarding this EPSPs and IPSPs with our central nervous system, if you could remember. What is EPSP? That is excitatory postsynaptic potential. And what is IPSP? That is inhibitory post synaptic potential so what is this epsp and ipsp these are the excitatory and inhibitory potentials which are generated and this generated potentials they are picked up by the electrodes placed on the surface so what we are doing in eeg we are placing electrodes on the scalp and this signals current in the form of excitatory and inhibitory potentials, summated potentials that we are measuring. Okay. Now, another important thing, sorry, another important thing here is, although we are recording this potentials from the sur surface here, okay, inputs for these potentials, they come from subcortical structures. Now, which are the subcortical structures? They are mainly our thalamus and brain stem reticular formation okay reticular form so what happens these neurons which are present inside thalamus and brain stem they send signals to the cortex and from cortex we can pick this signals in the form of summated potentials okay now another important here is we are getting these potentials from dendrites i think all of you are knowing neuron is having dendrites and exons so dendrites are the sites of this potentials hmm? exon is important for action potential and dendrites are the site for epsps and ipsps okay so here you can see this is a suppose this is a neuron hmm? it is having multiple dendrites so this neuronal cell and dendrite this is a relationship cell dendrite relationship that is continuously changing in the it is like a shifting dipole whether it is this dendrite is hyperpolarized or depolarized okay so here you can see suppose i'll explain you you can see here suppose you have placed electrode here okay and you are recording this electrical activity now when some total of this electrical activity that is negative which we are recording so you can say that the cell is depolarized that is cell is depolarized and when the sum total of the dendritic activity is positive relative to the cell means cell is hyperpolarized dendritic activity is positive so cell is inside is negative. So 
तो नेगेटिविटी मीन्स इट इज हाइपर पोलराइज ओके एम आई क्लियर एंड इफ सम ऑफ द डेंड्राइटिक एक्टिविटी हियर इज नेगेटिव एज कंपेयर टू दिस पॉजिटिव मीन्स दिस इज पॉजिटिव सो दिस इज डीपोलराइजेशन सो दिस वे यू कैन इंटरप्रेट दिस सेल डेंड्राइटिक रिलेशनशिप ओके नाउ दिस EEG important thing if you have a short note on EEG what you have to write down is EEG how it is produced generated second thing who invented and which are the ways of EEG okay so first is electroencephalogram it, it was invented by Hans Berger Hans Berger was french uh, scientist who invented this electroencephalogram okay or electroencephalogram now what are these brain waves how these waves are generated in eeg in eeg like this kind of waves are there they are not like ecg in ecg we have a particular pattern like p wave then qrs then t so this is typical in ecg of any of the individual but this is not in eeg this depends on mental activity Okay. suppose if we are uh, thinking about something so what happens activity is fast so this frequency of the wave increases so this will never repeat okay so now this gives you brain waves so how this brain waves are produced when millions of neurons they fire firing of neurons they occur okay so what happens this electrical activities are generated and this electrical activities by placing when we place electrode you can see here on the skull different electrodes are placed and this electrodes they pick up the activity okay and this we are recording as waves waves of eeg okay now so electrodes placement of electrodes how we are placing electrodes you can see here this kind of caps are available in which different electrodes are placed two types of patterns are there one is unipolar electrodes and second is bipolar electrode same as in ecg unipolar means one electrode is active and another is indifferent inactive whereas in bipolar both the electrodes are active okay now here important thing is because size of every one skull is not equal so that is one particular system to place the electrode and this is known as international 1020 system okay because uh, suppose uh, one person skull this length this when we are measuring from uh, inion to uh, this uh, at the lowest point this is maybe suppose in somebody it is 45 cm in other person it is 55 cm so how can you place electrodes that you get uniform areas or uniform areas from which you are picking the the uh, action potentials okay wave center so for that the name of the system is international 1020 system hmm? am i clear we will discuss what is this international 1020 system okay now so here international 1020 system what we do is we are placing electrodes at 10% you can see here this one 10% to 20% of this total area suppose you can see this is first is 10 then 20 20 20 20 and last 10 here suppose you can see this is inion and this is nasion at the, this at the nose okay so in between suppose this is 50 cm somebody's length so 10% of 50 this is 5 cm 20% this is 10 cm this is 10 this is 10 this is 10 and this is 5 so this way electrodes are placed am i clear okay hmm? so why is it so because if we are placing this way then we are particularly stimulating or particularly recording from that area suppose this at 10% here you have each and every one has frontal lobe here okay here there is parietal lobe here there is occipital lobe so from actual site we can measure 
सेम वे इन द ट्रांसफर्स लाइन आल्सो टेन ट्वेंटी 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 एंड टेन सो सेम वे हियर ट्रांसफर्सली आल्सो बिटवीन टू ऑरिकल्स ओके देन फर्स्ट इज टेन परसेंट देन ट्वेंटी परसेंट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंड टेन परसेंट मै क्लियर तो दिस वे इलेक्ट्रोड्स आर प्लेस्ड ओके so this is you can see again standard electrode placement by international 1020 system okay here around 8 to 16 channels are there and this electrodes are connected with the cathode ray oscilloscope to record the oscillations which are because of brain activity okay now normal eeg this normal eeg has you can see here these waves are different in frequency and amplitude you can see here this will never repeat like ecg different frequency and amplitude frequency from one cycle per second cycle per second is equal to hertz you know 1 hertz to 50 hertz normal frequency minimum 1 hertz to maximum 50 hertz amplitude this is 50 to 200 micro volt and this waves are irregular very important thing hmm. naman naman loknotra hello hmm. how are you welcome to my class hmm. okay nice to see you hmm. ha those students those who are joining today for the first time there is one announcement for you naman then anju ah hmm. uh, i'll be having my special class on a uh, 30th of december 30th of december 2021 i think this naman and anju these are a uh, first year students right? all of you are i think first year students you are uh, uh, i think you are going to start your first year mbbs is it let me know naman let me know please okay ha huh. there is one announcement for you people those who are joining for the first time here i have my special class on the app on 30th of december in which i will teach you how to study in your exams very important class and very important thing announcement here is from 1st january 2022 we are starting our new batch for you all and very important thing here is this new batch classes because we are starting here for the first time this all classes are free to access so please do join till your uh, this mbbs starts mbbs or another very important thing please share in your groups okay whether you are planning to take admission in mbbs in nursing in physiotherapy in dental for all of them all of you have physiology to study okay and this in this channel we are sending free classes daily one or two hours if you are with us you can i can guarantee you that you will be the best doctors because this is your free time you just use this time and you have a great opportunity so please that is my humble request all of you please join from 1st january with us hmm? we have our first class on 1st january we are starting our mbbs batch another important thing not only me but other subjects of medical science also will be taught on our this channel this will be going to a very useful channel for you people live classes are very good okay ananya ananya das hi hello welcome hmm? welcome to my channel hmm? okay all of you will be benefited that is damn sure hmm? good good to see you all hmm? okay so two announcement one that please join my special class on the app okay our app on academy app you can open the app and you can unlock this special class on 30th december at 9 pm how to study for medical science i'll teach about this 
with because I am here since last 17, 18 years and in medical science I am here since 20, 22 years. So I know which problems will be faced by you people. I can definitely tell you that my experience will definitely be beneficial for you all. And this all is free for you. Just give your time. Hmm? You are free here. If you give two to three hours a day instead of doing any other activity, this will definitely be beneficial. Okay. <clears throat> and another thing, you can ask me any question in live chat as well as afterwards also in video. If you place your uh, comment, we will definitely answer you hmm? of any of your questions. Okay. Let us continue. This is this class is for uh, this exam going batch on 31st up to 31st we are taking classes for exam going batch and from 1st onwards because your seniors they are completing their exams we are starting batch for the new MBBS and not only MBBS I'm telling you MBBS, nursing, physiotherapy, dental and all homeopathy, Ayurvedic they all have to learn physiology okay so all the best and welcome all mm. Uh, issue what happened ma'am 30 wala time bata di ek bar 30th 9 pm 9 baje raat ko is that clear issue 9 pm but ek thing hai aapko app pe ja ke open karna padega please go to on academy app and unlock the class this is also free class okay I want to start fresh and every topic. So from 2020, yes, definitely Naman, you can join from 1st January. But Naman, one thing I would like to tell you on 30th December in that class, I will explain how to study in medical, which difficulties will be there and how can you, okay, how can you, uh, uh, how can you uh, cope up with them okay ananya i will start okay okay hmm? stay with me ha huh? ananya i'll start okay so now waves of eeg frequency different try to remember this frequency one cycle per second to 50 hertz and amplitude 50 to 200 microvolt very important thing here is frequency depends on mental activity if we are mentally active you can see highest frequency konse wave ki hai you can see tell me here beta waves why beta waves because they are produced when we are mentally active at present you are in the class so you have beta wave when we are sleeping you can see least hertz that is delta waves hmm? if you are sleeping in the class you will be having delta waves so important thing here to remember is High, high frequency, more activity of brain and low frequency, least activity, okay? Then next is, very important thing here is our each EEG tracing that is complex, it is not simple like ECG. You can see here different kinds of rhythms are there. It will never repeat. Repetitions nahi hota, koi bhi rhythm ka. Told you low frequency less responsive behavior and high frequency more responsive if you are attentive frequency increases if you are less attentive you can see frequency this is frequency one cycle this is second cycle this is third this is amplitude okay don't get confused hmm? this is frequency you can see large number of waves are there okay more number of now important thing comes waves of eeg issue ha huh? okay then alpha beta delta and theta these four waves aapka ecg ka sorry eeg ka short note aa raha hai to what you have to write down how to take international 10 10 20 system and waves of eeg and uses of eeg ye this four points you have to include in this short note okay now Waves we will discuss alpha waves. Now what are alpha waves? You can see here these are rhythmic oscillations which are present in the electrical potential. Frequency, yaad rakhni hai, important thing, 8 to 12 hertz. Hertz is equal to all of you are knowing cycle per second or waves per second. Amplitude about 50 micro volts. Okay. They are recorded in our parietal and occipital area. Okay, parietal lobe and occipital behind. Okay, and when do we have 
अल्फा वेव अल्फा वेव कब आ रहा है आपके अंदर अमे नायक वेरी नाइस इनिशिएटिव बाय अन अकेडमी ओके थैंक यू ब्रिंग योर फ्रेंड्स अमे आई विश मोर स्टूडेंट्स गेट बेनिफिटेड दे गेट बेनिफिटेड बाय अवर दिस इनिशिएटिव प्लीज शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स सो दे ऑल्सो गेट बेनिफिटेड थैंक यू ना वी कम टू दिस अल्फा वेव अल्फा वेव वेन दे अपियर alpha waves they appear when our eyes are closed but we are not sleeping hmm? if we are sleeping then which waves they appear tell me tell me which waves appear delta hmm? as i told you delta waves are lowest frequency like this so delta waves they appear so alpha wave they appear when our eyes are closed but we are not sleeping okay hmm? so here another terminology here is sorry sorry uh -huh. alpha block what is it suppose this is alpha wave this waves are regular hmm? not irregular regularly they are coming our eyes are closed slow synchronized waves are there but if suddenly we open our eyes what happens this alpha waves are blocked okay so alpha block is there so this alpha rhythm is replaced by asynchronous and voltage decreases why voltage decreases as i told you beta waves they have less voltage okay so beta waves they appear and that is known as alpha block or desynchronization hmm? instead of this regular rhythm you will be having irregular because mental activity may be fast may be slow this way okay so this is the uh alpha block okay may be asked as a short question okay alpha next comes our beta waves beta waves as i told you when we are active we have beta waves activity increases frequency increases very important thing so alpha wave frequency is 8 to 12 hertz here this is 15 or sometimes in some books they have written 13 13 to 60 hertz or cycles per second their amplitude is less 5 to 10 try to remember all this 5 to 10 microvolt and they are recorded during active alert state from the frontal lobe whenever we are thinking we are thinking here so frontal lobe whatever electrodes as i told you are placed nasion to 5% here this electrode gives you beta wave most frequently okay then next is delta wave delta wave what is delta wave they are low frequency but amplitude is high you can see here this one frequency decreases you can see here cycles number of cycles in one second you can see here three cycles one or two one or two maximum here you can see how many cycles are there hmm? so rate is 1 to 5 cycles per second hmm. okay that is the rate of delta wave low frequency voltage is high voltage amplitude is 20 to 200 microvolt okay and they are normally seen in the adult during sleep when we are sleeping deep sleep it gives this alpha waves sorry delta waves okay now and sometimes they are present in children during wakefulness also but in adult never during wakefulness if they are present in the adult during wakefulness very important thing this denotes that there is some abnormality like tumor or epilepsy or increase intracranial tension or some pressure or depression or anything this is denoted if delta waves are present and the person is not sleeping so normally whenever this kind of waves are there person must be sleeping in normal state okay next is theta waves theta waves they are always present in the children below 5 years of age these are low frequency and low voltage normally not present in adult okay frequency that is 4 to 8 cycles per second okay and amplitude is about 10 microvolt okay try to remember all this 
दिस आर नॉट नॉर्मली प्रेजेंट थीटा वेव्स ओके ना सो दिस इज समरी ऑफ ऑल द वेव्स एज आई टोल्ड यू अल्फा वेव्स दे आर प्रेजेंट वेन आईज आर क्लोज बट पर्सन इज नॉट स्लीपिंग ओके फ्रीक्वेंसी एट टू थर्टीन हर्ट्स एम्पलीट्यूड फिफ्टी माइक्रोवोल्ट बीटा वेव्स वेकफुल स्टेट फ्रीक्वेंसी थर्टीन टू सिक्सटी हर्ट्स एम्पलीट्यूड लीस्ट फाइव टू टेन माइक्रोवोल्ट delta wave present when we are sleeping during sleeping during sleep frequency 1 to 5 hertz and amplitude is 20 to 200 micro theta waves not normally present frequency 4 to 8 hertz amplitude is 10 micro volts okay now last point that is use of eeg they are used for localization of some pathological condition if some tumor is there hematoma is there then it is diagnosed epilepsy is diagnosed by eeg sleep studies are there hmm? we will discuss during sleep uh, different waves are there that is also study comatose pa patient if the patient is in coma that also is evaluated by eeg evaluation of organic brain disorder that is also by eeg and evaluation of brain death that is also by eeg okay so starting with first localization of pathological condition means suppose some person is having hematoma here this is the skull here is the hematoma so what happens this eeg activity decreases at particular this place okay if there is local tumor local formation of irregular waves here there is slow waves found in the eeg okay second is we can diagnose epilepsy when there is epilepsy epilepsy means a convulsions hmm? there is increased discharge of cerebral neurons so high voltage waves are present okay so that is also easily we can diagnose that this is not normal eeg wave okay next is evolution of consciousness hmm? slow wave appears if the person's consciousness consciousness is lost okay disturbance in consciousness also gives different varieties of waves in eeg okay then evolution of organic brain dysfunction organic brain dysfunction means whether there is some tumor or some blood vessel blockage or some injury to the brain then also we have abnormal formation of waves okay then last one is it is criteria for brain death so you can see to label someone brain dead we must have straight line in the eeg you can see here this is a straight line in the eeg for 30 minutes then only we can claim that the person is brain dead okay so this is brain to claim the person brain dead eeg must be straight line without any wave for 30 minutes okay so these are all the uses of eeg and this is our today's class thank you if you like my video you can like you can share with your friends and subscribe our channel on academy future doctors thank you